Hey, yes, my peoples, it's T. And today I'm reviewing the Pure Electric e-scooter. Let's get it. So first thing we're gonna look at is the exterior of the scooter. So first we have the handlebar, which is a straight handlebar. I know some scooters sometimes have the bit of a curved one, but this is straight and it comes with the foam elements as well to keep your hands less fatigued when you're riding for a period of time. We had the brakes on the left and we also have the accelerator button on the right. At the front, we have a light, um, which can be switched on very, very easily. Um, as you can, well, you, I'm not sure you can see it on camera, but the light is on. And we have a reflective stripper here as well to keep you safe at night. On the front, we have the circular button, which is, you twist that and it's a couple of turns and it undoes the bolt. And then simple as that, we are able to actually put that down flat and then put that here simple and we have buttons on, on the top as well um, the button is just one button on and off and it also controls the light as well and that's really the main the main features of of the front top part of of the scooter at the bottom we have 10 inch tires most e-scooters do not actually come with um, that size it's normally eight inches or five inches so this size allows you to actually cover um, more terrain um, more comfortable on different terrains um, which is which is great um, and then we have the kick down stand on the side here which um, as you can see helps keep the scooter upright and also we have a little bell here which um, you can use to tell people to basically get out of the way <laughs> essentially when you want to scoot past them very fast so this is the 500 watt version of the pure electric e-scooter so most e-scooters that you buy in the market really there will be less wattage such as 250 or 100 for example and the reason for the 500 watt rated e-scooters is not only does it allow you, allow you a punchier and quicker acceleration but it also allows you to climb hills steep hills at a much better gradient much faster much easier um, the lower rated e-scooters with a low wattage motor they tend to struggle on on these hills and sometimes i've actually seen people walking with their scooters uphill which defeats the purpose so 500 watt allows you to actually climb the hill and still be at steady speed um, the wattage of this motor also allows it greater distance in in actually how long the motor lasts for and how long the battery lasts for so this has a range of 18 miles which i believe is around 25 kilometers if i'm correct so that is actually pretty good because it allow, allow you to, especially if you're using it as a commuter scooter, you can actually get to various different places for quite a long time before you run out of range. The scooter also has three speed modes. So we have economy, so I say battery, so it won't, it won't go that fast. The top speed will be quite low. It has the standard and it also has sports mode, which is um, of course the fastest mode and it allows you to get up to 25 kilometers per hour, <laughs> which is, um, which is actually quite quick. It feels, on a scooter, it feels quite quick. Um, I think that's around 12 miles per hour in the UK. So, with the Pure Electric e-scooter, um, it comes in two colorways. We, we have the gray, and we also have the black. I went for the gray on this occasion, um, just to be a bit different. Um, and it also comes with a smartphone app, which allows you to see the battery level, but also allows you to actually lock the scooter when you actually park it up. So when you park it somewhere, um, say for example, you go to a shop, leave it outside, which you probably wouldn't do anyway, but if you leave it outside, there's actually a lock button on the app, which will mean that somebody can't come and just and ride it off um, without unlocking it first on the smartphone app. As well as the smartphone app, it has a USB port on the front of the scooter. This allows you to connect a stand when you're doing long journeys. You have your maps open, you wanna keep your phone charged as well, which is a very handy feature. Talking about batteries and charge time, um, the charge time, well, Pure Electric class this as a fast charge time. I don't class it as fast, but um, you can charge in 5.5 hours from zero to 100 um, using the provided power adapter, which plugs into the side of the scooter at the bottom as well. And also um, in terms of weight, that will you know determine how quickly the battery dies. So, 
this actually this scooter actually has a load weight of 120 kg which means the heavier person can ride this and, and it will still actually have some speed or if you're commuting with a backpack your laptop in the back a few things for work again you will still get some good speed from this because it actually allows a lot of weight and talking about commuting it's also one of the only e-scooters on the market that is actually water resistant as well so it's ip rated 65 so it's splash resistant in the rain you can actually still scoot around and it won't cause any damage to your scooter full jam-packed of features and i think this is a very 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 good scooter and comfortable ride and one more thing the price so to pick up one of these um, it will cost you on the on the pure electric website around about 399 pound in the uk um, for the operated 500 watt model but there are, there are there is a cheaper version which which is 299 um, but that's for the 250 watt model with less range, less power. Um, but this particular model is 399 and that's the price.